everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick, say hi to everybody. How's everyone doing? Leave me a comment on what's on your hook on this Wednesday today. I am working on a few projects right now, and actually my parents are on their way over to my house right now, because we're going to be filming in the studio pretty soon. I cannot wait to get these tutorials out to you. I have some really awesome designs coming out so I wanted to kind of show you what's coming up on Yarn Utopia on YouTube and on the blog um, so I made uh, one prototype right now and we're gonna actually be working on this on camera of using a fair isle stitch I don't want to give you the full project yet but this is one that is going to take me a little while to film, actually. We're going to start filming it today, and then we'll eventually finish, uh, probably, hopefully, in one or two weeks, depending on how fast I can crochet. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. They look like little hearts. How cute is this? So I don't want to show you what it is, but this is an upcoming project pretty soon that I've been working on and if you have any guesses you can leave me a comment on what you guess this one is then we have today we're gonna film so <laughs> my baby is due in June and it's a, gonna be summer here <laughs> and if it ever warms up really it's gonna be June and it's supposed to be summertime so I wanted to make some sandals for him to wear so I designed these cute little trekker sandals I just made one I'm gonna film one on camera but these are so cute little trekker sandals with a button kind of like hiking sandals like how daddy has so I think that these are going to be super cute and um, this is just a prototype I'm going to be making one on camera and they have a cute little bottom sole so I'm really excited to share these that's why my parents are coming today because we're going to film these little sandals and then I wanted to also share with you I've been working with fabric too. Have you incorporated fabric somehow in your crochet work? Have you crocheted with fabric or um, have you crocheted around fabric? I'm trying to figure out how to uh, make a ba baby blanket. So I bought this micro fleece. This is so soft from Joann's and this is, I'm going to kind of try to figure out how to do a cute little border around this so I'll share how I from step one to the end I'm gonna show how I got this fabric how I'm gonna cut the edges how I'm going to crochet around it and make a cute little border for a baby blanket so you can do the same thing for baby blankets or for like bed size blankets or afghans or even kitchen towels I know a lot of people like to crochet edges on pieces of fabric so I'm gonna show how to do that in a future tutorial and I'm going to use um, this Red Heart Yarns Bunches of Hugs in this yellow. I just think that's a cute little match for this blanket. So that's what I'm going to be doing soon. So I just wanted to share some updates here at Yarn Utopia about <laughs> what's going to be going on here pretty soon. Uh, also, a lot of you have been asking, how's baby? Uh, I'm going to actually move the camera so you can see how big I'm getting. <laughs> it's like crazy, but let me move this this way here. There we go. So you can see I'm getting pretty large. <laughs> and uh, baby's doing really well. We're 23 weeks and we are... We got some ultrasound photos, so I can maybe hold one or two up to the camera already showing off baby. So we have a profile picture. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> so that's um, our baby. We got some more um, ultrasound photos, and he's super healthy, doing very well. I've been feeling him kicking, which is so crazy. It's such a weird feeling, but I love it so much. So yeah, things are going really well. I have been having my aches and pains here and there, but trying to stay active and trying to um, yeah eat well and just 
uh, lead you know a healthy lifestyle so we're doing really well over here so I wanted to thank everybody for asking how things are doing and how big I'm growing and all the questions about him <laughs> I love that you guys are so in tune with that too so that's awesome and I love to share that with everybody as well um, and the last thing a lot of you have also been asking me is about in Yarn Utopia the crochet hooks that I've been using so many questions about how awesome they are and how like how I like to use them and where I can get them and if they're sales and how expensive they are and about how uh, if you can change them in and out so I wanted to talk a little bit about that for just a few minutes I don't have much time left but um, I wanted to show you these crochet hooks I only have two here but I have a full set they are hand carved ergonomic wooden handled crochet hooks they're from the Etsy shop would be fancy and they have a crochet hook that you can choose either a boy hook which is what I usually use or a Bates hook which is more um, of a sharper type of a hook end here and these are fixed in so you can't even remove them you can pull on them or you can crochet really tightly and they're not gonna come out they're really stuck in there <laughs> and so you can get a full set there's like sets of three sets of five or six I think and then you can get them single as well just to try them out usually if you're gonna purchase for the first time you just try one and see how it goes um, but they're they're ergonomic and you can see when I hold my crochet hook it fits in the palm of my hand and the curve of how my hand and fit and actually I crochet like this but if you crochet like how a lot of people crochet like this it again you can see how easy that is how easy is that so yeah you can crochet like this or like this and I love it so much and there is an addition to the Etsy shop so check out would be fancy I'll link them in the description of this video obviously so you can check them out but there's these cute little needle holders I know it's not kind of blurry but look at this needle holder you can ho take the cap off and then you can hold your sewing needles in there and you can have them safe in there so that they will never get lost because I always lose my needles and they are secure in these cute little handy little wooden um, holders so they have these as well on their shop so check out would be fancy on Etsy and uh, they're super fabulous there's international shipping available too so if you're worldwide <laughs> um, wherever Etsy ships I guess is where you can uh, get your crochet hooks and I just wanted to share all that with you today hop on here and say hello and uh, let me know what's on your hook today and yeah that's that's all so I'm gonna head into the studio my parents are almost here and we're gonna start filming those tutorials that I was showing you earlier and this is so soft you guys should get your fabric from Joann's and grab a crochet hook and um, some fabulous yarn and we will get to work on this sometime very soon within the next two weeks I want to get this all three of these tutorials up so Leave me a comment, say hi, I want to check in with everyone, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, <laughs> happy hooking!